second quarter takes over, and uh, Notre Dame's got the ball. First play out, 34-yard catch. They run a nice little action down the left side. The kid makes a great play, juggling catch, goes down. Next play, they hit the tight end right down the middle. Notre Dame's threatening now. They end up punching it in from one yard out. That 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 drive was 87 yards. Okay. So something that you don't like to see when you give up large drives like that, but that's part of the game. Okay. So it's going to happen from time to time. Give Notre Dame credit once again. Yeah, you, you had basically a walk-on kid make an amazing play down the sideline with a juggling catch. He made the play. So you, you tip your hat to them. Another juggling catch by the tight end right down the center of the field. Give them credit. They did what they had to do. They stuck it in. Notre Dame goes up 10-7. Now, always what you want to look for is when you're talking elite teams, how do they respond? Okay. So Ohio State gets the kickoff, and they end up having a punt. So Ohio State goes 39 yards. Ten, well, I take that back. Excuse me. They, yeah, they punted down Murko with another great punt. Pins Notre Dame down. Notre Dame has to give it back to Ohio State. Ohio State goes on a nice little drive. 39 yards, 10 plays. And then the Noah Ruggles misses one field goal all of last year in his first attempt this year. And he, and he hooks it a little left. So uh, the score remains 10-7. And uh, basically, that takes you into halftime right there. So, first half, again, Ohio State doesn't get things going offensively. Give Notre Dame credit. Uh, But you also got to give some credit to Ohio State's defense. Uh, I love the way they attack. Uh, A lot. uh, Jim Knowles did, did a great job on game planning understanding how to attack Notre Dame. And those defensive linemen and the DNs were fantastic tonight. Absolutely fantastic tonight, especially with a new quarterback coming into play his first time start in the horseshoe. And, hey, you got to give him credit. That front four was menacing tonight. And you'll see that by the stats as I go over them a little bit later on. So second half begins, and just what you want, Ohio State deferred. They're going to get the toss or get, going to get the kickoff to start the second half. Let's go in and make some halftime adjustments. Ryan Day always does a very good job at making halftime adjustments. So what happens? Ohio State takes over on their own 25-yard line and goes three and out. Uh, not exactly what you wanted for that start of the second half uh, when it comes to Ohio State, uh, especially Ryan Day. So uh, three and out. They punt the way to Notre Dame. And – what happens? You got a personal foul by Zach Harrison after another nice punt by Jesse Marco. So you got a personal foul there, gives him a 15 yard penalty. And then later in that same drive, which was a tough call on Latham Ransom, the roughing the passer call as as the as uh, Buckner was going down for the slide. It, it's so tough, guys. You got to understand something. It's so tough that uh, you got guys flying around at 100 miles an hour and you just can't you just can't pull up sometimes and and the, the quarterback decided to go down so late that Latham Ransom what are you going to do it's just a tough call it went against Ohio State there's nothing you can do about it so you move on the great thing about it is is Ohio State didn't get upset about it they found a way to get them off the field get the defense off the field and uh they they were able to hold Notre Dame and which i feel was huge because Ohio State took over on the 30-yard line, and actually this was the drive of the – well, the second biggest drive of the game, the, that last drive when Maya Williams went and scores the biggest drive. So uh, 30-yard line, they take over, and they became men because uh, they got after that off uh, defensive line. They went 10 plays, 70 yards, in four minutes and 43 seconds, and of all people – of all people, Xavier Johnson with the touchdown pass. And what I couldn't understand, uh, and it was mentioned on the broadcast, is the way Notre Dame was playing the whole night, just keeping everything in front of them, 
Al Golden, the defensive coordinator, decided to blitz. And that's all it took was that one little miscalculation on their end. And you have a Heisman candidate, C.J. Stroud, that was able to recognize it. And Xavier Johnson was also able to recognize it. And they and they capitalized. That was a third down play, too, guys. And that was a huge, huge touchdown, 24-yard touchdown. And uh, obviously brought the stadium back, too, because the stadium was dead. It was it was a morgue. Uh, the fans, you could just tell the energy was gone. As soon as Ohio State was able to take the lead again, that crowd snapped right back into it. The sideline was ecstatic. The energy was back in that building. And that's what that's what home field advantage is. That's what you have to take advantage of. So uh, they got the lead. Now, here's where it comes down to the defense. All right. You just took the lead. How many times do you see a team go down and take the lead right back off off of you? And this is where I really wanted to see if our defense could step up and make that stop. Ohio State on the kickoff. The kickoff coverage was fantastic tonight. There weren't many kickoffs, but it was fantastic tonight. And the guy that just made the, made the, made the touchdown catch, he was the first one down to make the tackle. Stop, stop Notre Dame, had their backs up again. Against, against the back of their own goalpost. And what happens? <laughs> First play from scrimmage, again, you got to tip your cap sometimes when somebody makes a great play, and that's exactly what happened. Last play of the third quarter, they went ahead. Buckner took a shot down the right sideline right over Denzel Burke, and uh, the kid made a great play, great catch. You had one referee come in and wave it off. I don't know what happened there. It was never reviewed. I thought it might have been incomplete when I first saw it live, but they never reviewed it, so you move on. Then you get a 15-yard uh, penalty as well, uh, which moves Notre Dame even closer. And now, you know, as an Ohio State fan, you're sitting there holding your breath now a little bit. You're thinking to yourself, wait a minute here. Come on, we just took the lead. We got we, we got a great catch, and we got a 15-yard uh, pass interference call against us. What are we going to do? So the defense bucked up big time. They were able to get the stop and force a punt. So now we go into the fourth quarter and the drive of the game. I'm going to call it the Mayan Williams drive because Mayan Williams, it's like thunder and lightning. You've got Henderson who has the wheels and the speed. Mayan Williams for a big running back. His shiftiness and the way he moves, uh, I think, is even better than than Travion Henderson's. Straight line speed, though, Travion Henderson's unbelievable. He's lightning. But with Mayan, Mayan is unbelievable how he's able to sidestep. His lateral movement is outstanding. That's why I love him. And, and the man, he's a grown man, too. He runs mean and angry. And it's hard to find guys like that. He does not go down with arm tackles. And that's what you got to love about them. So Ohio State took over on their own five-yard line after a great pump by Notre Dame. And it was the Mayan Williams drive, a couple great runs. And the big one, though, there was a huge catch on the sideline. Mayan Williams was starting to go out and run a wheel route. And as Stroud decided to go ahead and vacate the uh, the pocket and go left, he was able to come back as every as every receiver is told. Always get back to your quarterback. You got to work back towards him when he scrambles out of the pocket, and that's exactly what he did and made a great catch. It was a great throw by Stroud. Also, that was a third down play too. So you want to talk about really gaining more momentum? Here's Notre Dame. They're doing what they need to do to try to get the ball back to give them an opportunity and chance to go down and try to try to go ahead with a touchdown. Stroud makes a great play. Mayan Williams, even a better play on the sideline. So after the catch, they were methodically moving down the field, and it was a smash mouth, Woody Hayes type of drive after the catch. There were big chunks here and there. Mayan Williams, a couple great passes by Stroud, and it ended up being a a drive of 14 plays, 95 yards, took over seven minutes off the clock. Exactly what you want down in the fourth quarter 
when you want to show yourself, are we tough enough? Because we all know, watching the Michigan game last year, Ohio State got called out for not being tough. Well, the strength of Notre Dame is that defensive line. And I tell you what, the body blows started to take advantage. They really did. They took advantage. And uh, the Mayan Williams took advantage of it. A lot more arm tackles. And he was able to punch it in from one yard out. It was an outstanding drive. And honestly, let's face it, guys, if you wanna if you wanna go and win a Big Ten championship, if you wanna go to the playoffs and you wanna and you wanna be talked about as that elite team, this is what it's this is what it's talked about, and this is what it comes down to being tough and making drives like this, taking time off the clock, 